All right, y'all. I want to talk about the importance of never FOMOing into a trade when price moves. And I also want to talk about why price gets seemingly random moves like this one right here where we just had this pretty intense move up, almost a 1% move, seemingly out of nowhere. Okay. Now, what does it mean to FOMO into a trade? FOMOing into a trade means you see that the price is getting a massive dump to the downside and you say, oh, crap, we're going to go down to zero. I might as well get into a short trade right now. Or the opposite, where you see, oh, crap, price is pumping. I might as well get into a long trade right now. That is called fear of missing out. And instead of letting the movement of the price control your emotions, which will then make you enter into a trade that you shouldn't be entering into, instead what we need to do is we need to come to the charts and we need to be able to plan out where our next trade is going to be. Because one of the keys to being a successful trader is having the ability to look at the markets and just think one step ahead of the markets. Okay. Now, here's what I mean by this. When I woke up this morning, I could see that price was dumping. And instead of FOMOing into a short position, what I did was I decided to do some technical analysis on the chart and figure out where would I like to enter into a long position. Okay. And what I did was I found certain areas on the chart where price was likely to get a bounce. One of the ways I like to do that is by using Fibonacci retracement tools, right? Now we can see here that we did come down to a very, very key level, which was this Fibonacci 382 level. And if we had been prepared for this level, we could have gotten a move to the upside and scalped it instead of FOMOing into a short, potentially getting wrecked because a lot of people shorted down here. Instead, you are waiting for the long or the opposite is true. When price is pumping, we then wait for the short. That's how I was able to get into a short trade from right up here. If we go into the VIP discord, we can see that I had posted a potential short from the exact area of $30,700. We come over to the chart. We came up to $30,728. And I was prepared already to take a short trade from there. In fact, I'm still in that short trade from last week. Um, this is it right here. I live streamed it last week. Um, still holding it because I've already realized a good amount of money from it. But I... You know, in case we come down lower, I'm not going to close out the whole position, but that's a topic for another video about how I uh, handle my open positions. But my point is, if we are able to know in advance where price is likely to get a pivot, then we can be prepared. So this morning, I had posted as well in the VIP Discord. By the way, if you want to join the community where we have a lot of... Um, not just me posting trade setups in here, but we have a thriving community of traders all posting good technical analysis, uh, trade setups. We have some really amazing traders in here. Boyan, KPAX, White Phoenix. These guys are posting trade setups. White Phoenix uh, gave this short setup, hit literally to the dollar this morning, right? Um, shout out to KPAX who gave that setup. But basically this morning, right, we were looking at our levels and we knew already where we were going to look for support on the way down. And the first place was this level right here at about $29,500 to $29,653. We came down to $29,630, so right into the box, and that's where we get our bounce from. And so this is how you are able to plan in advance where the market is going to find a pivot. You need to know how to do technical analysis, and then you need to know how to look at your indicators in order to know if price is going to get a move from there. Now, if this, if this is something you don't know, you can check out this juicy trading course with a juicy 25% discount. This will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident, profitable trader because what we do is we give you a clearly defined point A to point B system so you always know where you're looking for your next trade, what confirmations you need to get into the trade, um, as well as where to set your take profit, stop loss, and more right? 25% discount. But I would like to offer one more word of caution. As we are trading in this, uh, what we could call a clearly defined sideways range with a very clearly defined high at about $30,700 and a pretty clearly defined low at about $28,600. Before uh, Bitcoin does anything, right? We have to understand that we are trading 
in a sideways range. And as long as we are doing that, it is going to be quite easy to find those areas with some good technical analysis where we can expect price to have a pivot. I mean, for example, you know, KPAX uh, to the exact dollar had that short trade from this morning. That was a level of resistance that we had right here at about 30, 3, 4, 6 uh, because of those previous daily candles. And so my point is, it's very easy for people right now in these markets to have the emotions take over because there are people who are very, very bullish here thinking we're going to go way back up, which we very well may. And there are people who are very, very bearish here who think we're going to come down lower. And I've seen a lot of people get faked out because the reality is we're just trading sideways. So as long as we are trading sideways, it's important that we are looking for areas of support and resistance uh, to enter into those trades because we can take long trades and we can take short trades um, simply by planning them out in advance and knowing what to look for. So I just wanted to come in, make a quick little video about that. And uh, God bless everybody in the name of Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus the Messiah. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Peace.